1500 aims to be both an evolution and a return to form for the series. This newest entry will let you build and conquer a world with endless possibilities as you discover the 19th century and lead your own industrial revolution. Workers and farmers are the backbone of your island and have many needs to be tended to to ensure their happiness. Make sure they're well fed, clothed, clean and not too overworked and your growing city will flourish. Increasing your city's attractiveness keeps the populace happy and even attracts visitors. But there will always be a push and pull between attractiveness and progress. The new newspaper feature shows the impact your decisions have made on your citizens. You can always change these negative stories for propaganda, but that can have consequences of its own. As your empire grows, so will your alliances and trade routes. This will take you far from your starting island, but nowhere is as breathtaking and unique as the New World. Once discovered, the New World will become a crucial extension of your empire, giving access to resources needed to propel you into a wondrous new age. But beware, the more you expand, the more complicated your relationships with other leaders become. You may have to fight, for what's yours.
Hey everyone, I'm Judah Ben, one of the developers at Pajama Llama. I'm here to tell you about our town building game called Plots. As we're heading into early access, we'd like to show you a summary of the game as is and what we plan to do with it. In short, you collect trash from the ocean and build a town with it. So, let's start with gathering some of that precious garbage over there. You can put down a salvage buoy, choose its radius and how many people will work here. As the drifters start collecting resources, you can start building your town. The wood is waterlogged, so you'll need to hang them to dry before you can use them to build sturdy constructions. Though you're surrounded by endless waves, drinking water is hard to come by. To keep your drifters hydrated, you'll have to find ways to distill the salt out of the seawater. Mm, water with some sweet microplastic aftertaste. You can't control your drifters directly. You manage their tasks with a priority system. Here, you can adjust what each drifter should prioritize when checking for new tasks. You want this one to keep biking and produce water? You can. Not everything is fully submerged in the world. There are many islands with remnants of the old world or settlements of people trying to survive. After you build a boat parking area, you can construct salvaging boats and go explore them. Metal doesn't float, so you'll have to travel to these islands to gather it. You might find books or old technology in these ruins as well, giving you ideas on how to improve your own constructions. There's many more areas and islands to explore, but they're all too far away for these small boats. It's time to build a sail and take the whole town on a road trip. And that's it, the essence of this little garbage game. The plan is to enrich this world with more ways of interacting with the different islands and their inhabitants, with multiple options of salvaging, building and traveling through this vast and ever-changing world. That is our focus in Early Access. Thank you for watching this video. We've set out on this journey as a small boat trying to make big waves. When you all paddle along, these waves will be even more exciting. We hope to see you in early access.